Hello and welcome back to the Bookshelf Odyssey. My name is Art and we are exploring my bookshelves and today a Gascapril edition of Victorian Shorts. So what I want to talk about a little bit about is some of Elizabeth Gaskell's short stories. Uh, she uh, is a phenomenal novelist, but her short stories as well are, are incredible. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about some of my favorites that she's written. I would direct you, first of all, to Cranford, which I know is not a short story, but it's also not a, a full-length novel. It is it's probably more like a, a novella, and it is full of short stories and smaller, like almost episodic stories in, uh, we interweaving with each other. She wrote a couple of stories based in Cranford for Household Wood for household words and uh, Dickens loved them so much that he wanted some he wanted more of those stories and encouraged her to write more and uh, then so then uh, Elizabeth Gaskell published eight further stories over the next 18 months and so the, the work itself has no it's like a collection of loose sketches and follows the uh, narrator uh, whose name we come to find is Mary Smith and it's a town full of very strong, very capable women. Um, in fact, men are really take the background in this story. But in spite of that, I, I know you'll lo you'll love it. You'll enjoy it. And and well, I say in spite of that, it's like if a novel doesn't have a a, a male main character, you might not enjoy it. Um, whatever. It, it's a great story, full of feisty female characters, strong characters, funny characters. It's a really, really fantastic story. But to get to actual short stories, I want to also uh, mention just a couple of my favorite uh, Elizabeth Gaskell stories. And you can find, uh, I read these on my some of the earlier episodes of my podcast, and I'll make sure to uh, link them below. Typically on uh, Victorian shorts, I would like to read you a story, but I've already read these, and when I was thinking about what Elizabeth Gaskell stories I'd want to read, I mean, these came to mind. So I'll, I'll just go ahead and point you in the direction of those uh, past episodes. But uh, the first one is called The Old Nurse's Story, and it was written for uh, Charles Dickens's magazine. And it tells the story of an elderly caregiver who gathers her children, uh, her charges, to tell them a spooky story uh, about their mother's childhood. Uh, and of course, being a Victorian novel, it, it, or being a Victorian short story, it does give a moral lesson as well. In the story, you get some classic tropes of the ghost story, like, you know, don't go into the East Wing, and and it's very atmospheric. It, it takes place in an old house. Uh, all, all the classic tropes of a Victorian short story. This would be a great story to read on a dark and stormy night as you are snuggled up next to the family hearth. Okay, uh, it's really, really excellent and well worth the read. Uh, but then the one I, I think is probably one of my most favorite, that I think is probably my favorite short story, um, definitely in the top 10 of all time, is called The Gray Woman. And I'll link to the three episodes that I read um, that story. It's a longer short story. It's not it's not the length of like Cranford, but it, it's, uh, it took me about three different parts to read. I think there's three chapters actually, uh, or three sections in the book. And that tells the story of, uh, it, it begins with a, uh, a, a young, a young lady who's, who's on vacation and, and they're intrigued by this painting of a, a woman that they call the gray woman. And as the story is revealed about who this person is, uh, it, it tells the story of a of a woman who marries an awful man and he makes his, her life absolutely terrible it explores themes like gaslighting abuse and not not in any graphic details or anything like that but she's definitely being mentally abused uh, and she's been cut off from her family he leaves her um, secluded and alone and he she thinks that maybe her husband is going to try to kill her. Um, definitely her husband is up to no good. And it also explores the idea of how women did not have a lot of places to turn to when they find out that they're married to an awful, awful man. And so she takes it upon herself, she and her handmaiden, 
uh, to uh, flee from her abusive husband. And he follows and chases her. And the story that follows is just this thrilling tale of escape, cat and mouse type story that just keeps you glued to the end because you, you wonder how it's all going to turn out. It's at turns heartbreaking and, and exciting. There's one scene where the wife is hiding from the husband and, and uh, in his cronies and he she's discovering what it is that uh, he is doing and there's there's a dead body that she discovers and, and she oh it's just so good it's so tense that you know she can't even cry out because if she cries out in fear her husband will hear her and uh, who knows what would happen so it, it's a very modern feeling story uh, in that sense uh, um, along with some very interesting themes of uh, women characters having agency and power. Her maid helps her escape. Uh, she dresses as a man. They go in disguise as husband and wife, which I, I expect might have been kind of shocking for some of the audience at that time. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's really good. Really well, a well-written, um, tense story. Um, she has some other longer and, and shorter stories. Another one I read was called Hand and Heart, and that's a, a classic Victorian um, morality story. Uh, a very sweet story. There are others that are of a variety of length, but those are my top favorite. And since I call this episode Victorian Shorts, I'm going to keep it short <laughs> and direct you next to go to these episodes. If you want to hear me read these stories to you, there the links are in the show notes. Uh, if you want, if you're interested in some of the sh- shorter works of Elizabeth Gaskell, these are a great place to start. You can't go wrong with Cranford, the gray woman, and the old nurse's story. One of those two stories, I, I think I think it's the gray woman. Uh, you'll have to check the episodes out, but uh, Dickens didn't actually care for the ending, and he suggested to Elizabeth Gaskell to change the ending of one of the stories, and she basically said, you know, thanks but no thanks. I'll keep it the way it is, and I, I love that, that she had, uh, you know, the courage, the guts to stand up to this guy. Uh, you know, I love Dickens, don't get me wrong, but he can he could be kind of uh, a large presence, let's just put it that way. And she's able to <laughs> stand up to him and say, you know what, I like my story the way it is. It's going to stay the way it is. And that is something that you don't always see um, that women were able to do in Victorian times. It's no wonder that she's becoming one of my favorite Victorian characters. So I encourage you to check out some of her shorter work. And uh, these are hopefully a good place for you to start. Uh, You can, again, find the links to those episodes in my uh, past shows where I read those Elizabeth Gaskell stories for you. And you can hear some of my thoughts in more detail on those stories below. Uh, So that'll be it for our uh, this month's Victorian shorts. Uh, You know, I don't know where I'll go next with this uh, on again and off off again miniseries, but we'll see if there's so many great Victorian stories I'd love to read for you uh, in in the months ahead. So get started on listening and reading some of Elizabeth Gaskell's shorter work. Uh, You won't be disappointed. So until next time, uh, take care and happy reading.